Star Wars Force Arena players, welcome to this Clone Wars special video. In the video, you're going to see some Darth Maul gameplay, hooray! And also the new battle rewards that replaces the play packs. You'll also see the new mission tabs and displays in this video, amongst a whole other things. And during that, I'll give you my overall impression of the game and why you, if you are sitting there watching this video thinking, oh, I've not played the game for a while, do I go back to it? Do I bother? Um, or should I install the game? And this video hopefully will convince you, yes you should. So that's it, that's my impression, yes you should. Um, for those of you who have followed me, you obviously know all this, but for those of you who are new to the channel, I did a video recently where I ventilated my frustrations at 1.7, the update that just took the teeth out of Rebels and made the Rebels completely worthless. You know, and yes, you could argue you can get wins with the Rebels, but if you are a new player to the game or not particularly skilled or not sure, you know, you have to work really hard to get a win as a Rebel player. And they made it even harder to do that. And that really annoyed me to the point where I just stopped playing the game. So my output reduced. I reduced my streams down to once a week rather than three times a week. And my video content output was reduced down from like videos every day, sometimes twice a day, to just once every now and again. Um, and I was annoyed, I was and upset because I loved, I liked the game so much, and I was frustrated that Netmarble would just, I don't know what they were doing um, to the game at the time. And then the, the matchmaking changes again, the point system for matchmaking, the ranking not making any sense to players because there aren't the numbers there to balance the game out so it looks you've got a tier 7 off against a tier 10 and it's like how, how, how on earth do they compete um, so a lot of frustrations right now in the game and I, you know I get that and Netmarble will get that as well which is why the, the Clone Wars expansion things are going to change for the better I believe um, I've had an absolute blast playing the expansion um, playing the characters and playing on the um, 1v1 and showing you guys the footage as well and I know you guys have really enjoyed it too so I have to thank Netmarble for, for doing that and I was surprised when I reached out to me given the fact I was so negative on 1.7 uh, to play the game and get it out there so it shows they were very confident that they could, could convince me to change my mind and they've done that I think um, I've had so much fun playing the game and some of the new cards and units are really good and the Rebel Republic gunship is just amazing you know, it swoops in, fires rockets, deploys clone troopers, and you're in battle. It's just wow, you know, the wow factor. And it shows that Netmarble have really been creative with some of the units. Not so much with a Darth Maul Sith probe, I have to admit, but that might play a good part in the game later on. We'll have to put it to the test, because I think this would be a really good counter to protect a lane from like a gunk droid or a rocket trooper, for example, but we'll talk about that in another video. And obviously, having Darth Maul in the game as well was a huge surprise to me, as he's my favourite leader right now and given the era that's they selected the Clone Wars very popular place to be in the Star Wars universe for a lot of players out there for various reasons despite everyone hating the movies we all love the era and we just want to be part of it and this update will let us do that there's going to be a whole host of new planets come to the game new maps and some of them look amazing the turrets have been redesigned as well to suit the planets you're on and I can't wait to see that and play that in live streams with you guys later on so overall I found the UI slicker the shop is much cleaner crisper much more variety new ways to earn crystals credits packs a lot more level of engagement draft mode that everyone's been crying out for is coming to the game as well so you can earn yourself more cards by playing your draft mode which is super exciting and gives more players a reason to log in every day and play the game you know, and I think these kind of changes are really positive and it shows that they have been listened to the player base but probably because they were working on other games at the time but didn't have the manpower or they were busy planning what they could do for this game because I know how difficult it is to get stuff done with the Lucas, with the Lucas um, Star Wars game, Lucas Film game, Lucas Arts game I did stuff for like Empire at War and Star Wars Galaxies there's a whole process you have to go through before things get finalised you may want the idea, but they might not like the idea. You know, it might not fit in with the current canon, for example. So it can be quite fussy, and it can be a bit annoying. 
But overall, the experience you've got here now for players of all levels or standards or budgets even. So if you're a free-to-play player, here's a new battle reward. So this replaces the play packs. So rather than you getting cards and a couple of crystals, here you learn, you know, a lot of crystals. Set, I think, seven, seven, 10, 15, 20, 30 crystals up to 7. This replaces your play pack. And this is another way for you guys to earn crystals completely free. You've got the missions now, dark side, light side missions, again, where you earn crystals, credits, packs... And, and it just shows that they want the experience to be the same for everybody, whether you throw money at the game or whether you just spend a few dollars at the game, a few pounds at the game. This game is here for you and you, you won't feel left behind when you play. Because especially with 2v2 being the mode where everything is equal, I, I love the idea of that. Rather than you just all having mismatched cards like it was at the start and it just was just a mess. You know. So I hope you know, you reinstall the game, get yourself back in the game, because it was well worth it. And with more players in the game, who knows, Netmarble might bring back rank 2v2, which is what everyone wants to do, but they can't do it right now because the numbers just aren't there to populate it. So I really hope we'll see some kind of things like that coming, and or tournaments added to the game, for, you know, for us to play. So if you are on the fence, get yourself back in the game, just get yourself back into it, have a feel for the game, join a guild, Earn some new play packs, earn some cards, some turrets for the guild missions that, that are new guild mission rewards that you get as well. And get yourself just back into it in a swing of it. And if you haven't played it for the first time, get yourself in there, have a play. Uh, and don't sink too much time into it yet because I think the expansion is going to be coming out hopefully at the end of this week. If all things go well, if there's no bugs, I think it's going to come this week. If not, it'll be definitely be next week. So get yourself in there, have a look, see what you think, and just you know get some packs ready to open and unlock on a day the expansion hits. And for those of you on the forum asking the question, will I lose everything? No, you won't lose everything. Um, the reason why I've lost everything here is because this is a brand new account on a brand new server, and it hasn't been linked to any of my accounts uh, because this is obviously a developer test build, uh, which is the reason for that. So when you log into the game, you download the expansion, you won't lose anything. You keep your credits, you keep your cards, you keep your rankings, you keep everything you everything you have, the day the server goes down is what you keep. The only change will be is um, the play pack. So if you've got a play pack that is not opened when the server goes down, you will lose that play pack. Not really a big deal. Um, so make sure, you know, your play pack's on cooldown before your servers go down. And the same goes for missions. So if you haven't reached mission fourteen in the in the basic missions, um, that will change too, so you'll, any rewards from that you'll lose because it will be changed. But if you haven't completed the mission thread, there will be new missions to do. So although you won't be losing, you'll be gaining some new stuff, which is probably going to be better for you to play going forward, because you have a chance to earn the new cards rather than the current ones that are out there. So overall, you know, I'm more than happy to recommend the Clan Wars expansion to everybody who's playing the game currently and to those of you who are on the fence right now and thinking about coming back it is well worth it uh, I've had so much fun playing the game yes there's going to be some tweaking because obviously this is only a test build so everything isn't final and I'm looking so forward to a new a new units, a new maps, new locations new game modes the whole new 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 stuff that's coming to the game and as the game moves forward I'm pretty excited and hopeful that they might introduce some of the first order stuff. That would be absolutely phenomenal if they could do that later down the line too. But as always, I'd like to thank everyone for their support for watching the videos and the live streams. Without you guys, I probably wouldn't be doing this um, just for fun, which is what it's always about. Despite the levels of salt content in some of the streams that you guys do witness. Um, and let me know what you think in the comments below. What would you like to see added? What are you excited about? Anyway, thanks so much for watching. May the force be with you.